Okay, so we've got some trolling that we have to go out there and talk about. Because yes, from the title, from the thumbnail, some of y'all in North America might be looking at this and saying, wait a minute, what's that? What are we talking about here? But if you're a Vancouver Canucks fan, if you're from BC, the lower mainland, this area of the world, then you might have been super shocked to have seen this topic pop up on your timeline. But the reason we're bringing this up is because this is actually being talked about. Not because it's actually happening, but because there was some very good trolling over the past few days that got the ball rolling on this idea. We're heading over onto Primetime Snoop's Twitter account. And if you're familiar with Primetime Snoop, they do a lot of trolling on Canucks Twitter. They tweet about Canucks stuff sometimes, and they make funny tweets that aren't really real, and they just kind of fabricate stuff, but it's all in a satirical, joking kind of way. This makes for some very interesting conversations when you see some of the things that they joke around about. And two days ago on the 16th, what they did was they changed their Twitter profile to Breaking 911, and they had their Twitter name as Breaking News British Columbia. So you can still see it. It's like this at the time of recording this audio. Breaking News British Columbia Media and News Company from BC. They tweeted this out. Hashtag Breaking. The city of Surrey is making a bold move to bring the Arizona Coyotes to BC. The mayor of Surrey, Brenda Locke, announced that he... Yeah, that says he has submitted a formal bid to the NHL to relocate the struggling franchise to the fastest growing city in Canada. And that right there is some pretty good and funny trolling. Of course, if you're here from Vancouver, you know Surrey is not going to get an NHL team. But for the sake of giving this the attention it deserves, let's go out there and read further. Primetime Snoop replies to his own tweet, The city has already designed a beta version of their NHL jersey, featuring a black hat, which is a historical symbol for the city of Surrey. Now, look, for me personally, I don't know why it's a black hat. If anybody wants to go out there and educate me as to why they're making this, is it a meme? Is it a joke? Is there some sort of an inside thing that I'm not getting? But either way, they tweeted out this jersey. A black hat as their jersey. That's really funny. Surrey is the second largest city in BC and the 12th largest in Canada with over 500,000 residents. It is also one of the fastest growing and most diverse cities in our country with people from various ethnic and cultural backgrounds. Surrey is ready for the NHL. And this initial tweet got 200,000 views on Twitter, and a lot of people here in Vancouver kind of know that Primetime Snoop jokes around about stuff like this, right? So nobody really saw this and thought it was a big deal. Oh, it's a meme, Surrey is getting the coyotes, that's funny, even with the black hat jersey. But... What if I told you that somebody actually fell for this, and somebody that actually happens to be writing for hockey-related news articles fell for this too? Well, it was all fun and games until we saw this article on westcoaststandard.com, or not .com, it's westernstandard.news slash bc. Writer Sean Poltzer went out there and published this yesterday. Could the NHL's Arizona Coyotes be headed to Surrey after Tempe voters rejected a $2.3 billion arena deal? And the article is right here, front and center. The Arizona Coyotes could be BC bound after voters rejected the deal. And this is sort of where you realize, oh, they got duped. According to breaking news British Columbia, the answer could be yes after a tweeted Surrey Mayor Brenda Locke announced she submitted a formal bid to the NHL to relocate the struggling franchise to the fastest growing city in Canada. It says here that Western Standard, the website that published this article, could not independently verify the veracity of the claim. Attached is the tweet, and this is sort of when you realize, oh, they really got duped. They made an article about it, they published it, and they said themselves they couldn't validate the claim, but they are citing the tweet troll that went out there and said it as their source. Oh boy. This is what happens when people take the troll in a little bit too far, and or people just don't bother to do their research. And I know y'all might be saying, wait a minute, Lego. 
How much better are you going out there making a video about this yourself? You are adding on to this cycle of people falling for misinformation and thinking that Surrey is going to be getting an NHL team. And the thing is, I'm telling you straight up, right up front and center, that yeah, this is a troll. This is not going to happen. Surrey is not going to bid for the Arizona Coyotes. It's not happening. This article even goes out there and even expands more. This comes less than a day after voters in Tempe overwhelmingly rejected the propositions authorizing a new arena, entertainment district, and a tax to fund it. And then it goes over the entire situation in Arizona. The history of the team, the vote that didn't go through, the commissioner Gary Bettman's statements and what everybody else is saying. Oh boy, I'm sorry, Sean. Like, you could see his profile at the bottom. He is the business reporter for the Western Standard based in Calgary. Like, he seems like a good, honest dude, and this article is well written from the perspective of him trying to dive deep and kind of uncover everything behind this Arizona Coyotes thing. But you got duped. I'm sorry, you wrote an article about Surrey placing a bid for the Arizona Coyotes? Bro, are you kidding me? Like, I know Surrey has been kind of memed upon because of all the new developments they've been going through. And of course, you know, there's always the, the Scott Road and everything. It's a great vibe in Surrey. I visit there once in a while myself to go to certain toy shows and diecast shows. It's very great, the community over there. But Surrey? NHL team? Oh boy. Somebody let this guy in on the joke, eh? Because this article was published, we also had a second article published by Rob Williams on Daily Hive. Arizona Coyotes headed to Surrey, a Canucks fan dupes a publication platform. And then you have pretty much the summary where Primetime Snoop was mentioned again, he did this, and then Rob Williams on this Daily Hive piece says that there was actually a journalistic platform that got fooled and made the article about Surrey. So there you go. Everybody's talking about Surrey and the Arizona Coyotes now, and for good reason. You've got a whole bunch of other memes starting out as well. People have really started to climb onto this Surrey thing. We talked about the initial tweet having 200,000 views. Well, take a look at this tweet by Mark Martinago. Hearing Surrey is really pushing to be the focus of the Arizona Coyotes, obviously it's still in the early stages, as first reported by Breaking News British Columbia. This tweet has 160,000 views. Chris Kant went out there and said this earlier, Breaking, I've been told by several sources that Surrey-born, former Canucks draft pick and self-proclaimed billionaire Prab Rai is the person behind the Surrey bid for the Coyotes. Now, obviously, if there was an NHL team in Surrey, I would not be against that. Like, that would be so cool just to have Surrey and Vancouver independently going up against each other. But at the same time, like... I think most people outside of BC don't even really know Surrey exists. Like, I'm sorry not to really talk trash about Surrey, but you could say the same thing about most of these cities in the Lower Mainland. Like, talk to somebody from Seattle, talk to somebody from Toronto, talk to somebody in Arizona. Does anybody know what Surrey is? Does anybody know what Langley is? Does anybody know what Richmond or New West or Coquitlam is? People just know Vancouver, and that's it. Everybody here that lives in these outskirt areas always say that they live in Vancouver anyway, because Vancouver is Vancouver. People know Vancouver. Like, there's just not a market here. So if you were to say, oh, Surrey has a legitimate chance to get it, like, okay, I mean, I get it, it's jokes, but for somebody to actually fall for this dude, that kind of blows my mind. Either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Surrey Coyotes. And apparently how that's going to be a thing with the Black Cap and the Crown Royale sponsorship. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section about the publication Western Standard getting duped. And, I mean, if you want to read it, the article's going to be there. Turn off your ad block as well. Just give these guys some views. Make sure that their efforts were not in vain in getting fooled by this Surrey website tweet talking about breaking news in BC. Thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Charles 9 and bye.